So Joe's not very happy with me because he doesn't have a face mask on. Oh, I'm absolutely devastated. <laughs> you get sad, don't you, when you don't get one? Yeah. But I thought I'd start my um, get ready with me here because technically this is part of it. It's my Saturday morning ritual of my face mask when I wake up because this one's once a week. What one am I using at the moment? How do we say the brand name? Strivectin. Strivectin, this one. I spoke about their um, face pads in my vlog. Um, and this is the glycolic acid skin reset mask and it is so good. Um, so yeah, this is my step one. But um, we've woken up feeling fresh, haven't we? Absolutely. We didn't go out last night. Instead, we stayed in and we watched, we caught up on Euphoria. Oh, and I started a TikTok. Oh. It happened, guys. It's official. <laughs> I officially have given in and I've started a TikTok. So here it is. Um, but I want to just try and like put, we want to try and make it like a bit more like little mini vlogs and just more life stuff and just vibes. Just chilled out sexy vibes. Chilled out sexy vibes would be a good yeah. way to describe it. More like, you know, outfit inspos and just where we go for our date nights and... Other bits and bobs. Yeah. Anyways, um, this isn't actually a vlog vlog. This is a get ready with me, but um, just a nice casual one. I'm going for brunch today. It is Becky's birthday tomorrow. So we've got a girly brunch at Crazy Pizza Marylebone, which is amazing if you haven't been. It's a really good brunch spot. Um, so I thought I'd film a get ready with me, starting with my face mask. I'm going to start off with the Summer Fridays. This is the Light Aura Vitamin C Eye Cream, which is just so good. I honestly feel like this eye cream is literally like concealer in an eye cream. It's honestly amazing. It brightens your under eyes so much. So next up, I'm going to use the Sunday Riley. This is the CEO vitamin C serum, especially because I broke out so badly and it's literally left me like, look all the marks it's left. Like that's literally just scarring from breakouts. So bad. I mean, I'm such a picker, but honestly, so I do two pumps of that. This one is also so amazing at just like brightening up your skin. I honestly love it. Then for some extra hydration, I'm gonna use the Medic 8. This is the Hydra B5 Intense. I, I do like to use this after I've used that um, face mask because it can be a little bit drying on your skin. So it's good to use something that's like really hydrating. use this i'm going to use the elements so this is the pro collagen rose facial oil this one is one of my favorite facial oils to use when i know i'm about to do my makeup because it's not a heavy oil um i know that some people can be afraid of using an oil if they're going to go put makeup on but this one is just such a nice oil plus it smells insane like honestly it's so nice and then for moisturizer today i'm actually going to use the bondi sands this is the daydream whipped hydrating moisturizer So that is my skincare done. So because I know I'm gonna be out for quite a long time today, you know what a brunch can be like, they can be, oh God, everything's moving. Um, they can be quite long. I'm gonna start with the Max Studio Fix, the Shine Control Primer, it's so good. Um, and actually makes such a difference. When I haven't got this on and I go out all day, I just feel like my, I mean, I'm quite an oily person. I get very hot, I'm very sweaty, very easily. Um, so this makes such a difference, especially to like this area of my face. Um, so if you feel like you suffer from like shine after you've had your makeup on for a while, definitely give this primer a go. So as you can see, I've obviously suffering from loads of scarring left over from my breakouts um, last week, which is just super annoying. So what I like to do is before I put my foundation on, I like to cover them with concealer first and then I just feel like it looks better that way. So I'm gonna use the NARS, this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. So I like to go, oh, the brush I'm using by the way, this is a Sigma, it's actually a shader brush, E56. And I like to just put the concealer on the area I wanna conceal, but not actually blend it in yet. I think, especially this NARS concealer, I think it definitely works better if you let it sit for like a little bit on your skin, and then you come back in and blend it. This spot on my chin is like a fresh one. I reckon that she is gonna be annoying to cover up today. So it's actually the other reason why I really like using a um, an oil in my skincare routine before I do my makeup. I think 
when what you'll see after this I go back and I blend it out with my fingers and I just feel like when you've got a slightly oily base I just feel like the concealer blends out nicer and then before I go in after I've let it set for a little bit before I go in and blend with my finger I just like to kind of elongate the space where I've covered so it's not little dots because I feel like the little dots if you just cover the one spot can kind of be the giveaway and then I literally just get my finger and just like lightly tap These NARS concealers, though, honestly are the best. I'm obsessed with them. They're so great for just everything. Like, they cover spots so well. They're amazing for highlight and contour vibes. They're just such a good, like, all-round concealer. So I'm pretty happy with that coverage of my spots. I'm also just going to put a little bit of that concealer into the edge of my nose, which is where I get, like, most of my redness. I actually prefer doing these sort of steps first because I don't like layering loads and loads and loads of concealer over the top of my foundation because I think that is when you do start to look quite cakey so if you really want to cover things I would say if you're not and you do feel like you look a bit cakey I would say cover it first and then put your foundation on it's just I feel like it looks a lot better but that concealer trick is also great if you don't want to put makeup on and you just want to cover up things because I mean I've just put like it on tapped it out and it looks like pretty flawless and you can't see any of them so if you are struggling to cover up your spots also just try that if you don't want to put foundation on and you just want to do a really kind of like just a nice cover up just had a quick break went to get my coffee um so right foundation let's start with that so i think today i'm going to use the morphe well, it will come at no surprise the morphe filter effect foundation so at the moment i'm really vibing with putting on my foundation first with a brush um i just i actually now blend out the majority of it with the brush and then just go over it with the beauty blender um which i didn't used to do i used to just put the foundation on kind of roughly and then i would blend it out but i don't know i think i just find blending foundation so therapeutic you'll have to laugh i can't believe i've actually started a tiktok after after putting it off for so long last night i was literally like okay fine i'm gonna do it I'm gonna upload um, and just like start one because I really want it to basically be a place where I can sort of share more sort of like behind the scenes of SLA and just like raw like real life stuff I think. Obviously I'll still be doing my vlogs on YouTube and all that of course but um, I just think it's quite good to do those sort of like shorter kind of more up to date ones that kind of come out the day it's happening sort of thing. Um, and also just to share you know like previews of SLA stuff before it comes out um, I might do like like quick little try on hauls and things like that on there so once I've blended the majority of that and I just use whatever is on the back of my hand just to put my beauty blender I feel like it's better to do that than go in with a completely like clean beauty blender sort of like moves it around a bit too much and then I'm just going to blend and blend and blend and blend <laughs> so I'm going to stick with those radiant creamy concealers um, I'm going to use vanilla which is the lighter one and I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye where I want like the most brightness. The brush I'm going to use is the this is actually the Bake Precision brush which is the P89 and I'm just going to apply I kind of like to buff it out as I'm doing it sort of joining the two shades as I go. I like to also take it down into like the crease of my nose as well and then i'm also going to put a little bit of concealer up here so for contour i'm completely obsessed at the moment with these are the nude sticks nudie matte um contour sticks so i love i don't know where the thing is but anyway it's the um bondi bay shade is actually my favorite one but i literally I've basically ran out, I ran out like yesterday, um, but this one is also amazing, so this one is terracotta tan, it's just a little bit more of a ready shade, um, but it still works really well, but, I'm, but I would say if you're going to buy a shade of this, I would definitely recommend the Bondi Bay, it's just such a good contour shade. I like to take it like up into almost like a thick line, because um, I sort of blend it out almost a bit more like a cream bronzer rather than like a really like define contour line um so i'm gonna put some on my forehead because i'm gonna do um a snatch bun today so i want a nice contoured forehead i didn't even say what sort of makeup i'm doing but i'm literally just gonna go for my everyday soft glam and then at the sides of my contour i like to just take it up into like a little bit of a like a tiny little l shape it's got brush the other end which is so good and then i kind of like lightly just buff it out before i go in with my beauty blender 
I always find the contour and like highlight stage, you just look so wild. It's amazing how it just ends up working. So I'm gonna make sure I blend it like into my hairline because of the fact that as I say, I'm gonna do a bun and I kind of need it all blended into that. That's sort of like a little bit of a base. I do tend to kind of go in again with the product in certain places just to get like the desired um, kind of coverage and stuff. But what I am gonna do just add a little bit more of that. This is the Custard Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna go to my cheeks, just to add a little bit of extra coverage to where those spots were, but also so I can get that nice like shape. So then once I've got that on, what I do like to do is just go back in with that Nude Sticks, and then I just pick certain parts to just build up the contour a little bit more. So it's normally like just underneath like my cheekbone, sort of like in the middle of my cheek about there, just so I can create that nice defined cheekbone. And then with this one, I just like to blend it into that one spot just to create like a slightly darker contour. So like this is easier to do once you've got that concealer down here as well, because it gives you almost like a bit more of a guide as to where you want your contour to sit. So I'm just going to blend out the concealer under my eyes and I like to go back in with that brush which is the Sigma Bake Precision one and just press the concealer in just to make sure because I don't want to move it around too much when I blend out with my beauty blender because obviously you just want that brightness in the middle of your face. And so with this I don't like blend all like up and around my eyebrow, eyebrow? That's not where I'm going. I um area is the word I'm looking for. Um, I just literally press into where that concealer is. Okay, so now we are all blended up there. Oh, honestly, I could blend forever. I just find it so satisfying. Um, I am going to just blend my cheeks in. So for powder, I'm gonna use my absolute favorite under eye one, which is the YSL Beauty, so the pink shade powder. So this is number two, and it is honestly the best under eye powder I've ever found. It's so lightweight, it never goes cakey. It's just a dream, honestly. So I'm just gonna lightly dust under my eye first before I bake it. Still one of the best tips I ever learned at that Makeup by Ariel Masterclass was the fact that you just like set your under eye before you bake it. it don't you just love watching like powder go from, powder? Um, foundation go from like slightly shiny to then when you put powder over and it goes like all matte and just Amazing. Really hoping that this is all the, in the right angle and I'm showing it all off well. This is the first time I filmed in this house um, and I've just put the camera up on my makeup mirror because um, I wanted this to just be a bit more of like a chilled get ready, like a bit more of a vlog style instead of going like for the full lighting setup. Um, but yeah, so fingers crossed this is all working fine and you can see everything I'm doing. Okay, so now I've set under my eyes, I'm going to grab my favourite sponge which is the Dose of Colours one this is just so i use this for under my eyes because of the fact that it's got that little point on it so it's so good um at getting like a little precision precision bake so that's where i like sort of focus it into the corner of my eye and then just bring it down the nose slightly I feel like this is why i don't really contour my nose because you kind of get a bit of a contour by doing this with the powder I feel like I can get one side of this better better than the other. I can always get that one, like, perfect. It kind of, like, dusts down the nose while I'm doing it. But I can never get that on this side. It's so annoying. So that's basically where I leave the baking in the middle of my face. And then I'm just going to literally... I just basically put it where I had the um, concealer, really. I don't want these to be too thick, though. So what I like to do, once I've got it in position, I just get rid of half of it, like that. Because I think a little thinner... A thinner bake line once you actually get rid of it I don't know I think it gives you like more of a snatch personally okay so now we're baking I'm gonna set the rest of my face of course I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder the OG of setting powders it is just the best um, I'm actually just gonna use what am I gonna use I'm gonna use the back of my like the bum end of my beauty blender I'm just gonna tap it in the powder definitely prefer setting my face with like a sponge or a powder puff um i just feel like it keeps your makeup on for longer it's definitely better especially you know something like i've got today where it's more of a a day thing 
um you want your makeup to stay in place for like as long as possible oh that bloody spot is gonna be so annoying it's like dry don't you just hate that honestly but i do have a secret weapon for that which i will show you but like if there are three products in this that i need a lifetime supply of it's the laura mercier trans laura mercier translucent setting powder the ysl number two powder and the nars creamy concealers honestly they just are my absolute staple products every time i do my makeup those are pretty much the three things i will always have on my face don't disturb my uh spot that i've covered i'm gonna add some to my eyelids as well I'm gonna get, you see that little mark there? This powder is amazing. So this is, well, it's not even a powder actually. This is the Bare Minerals. This is their like mineral foundation in gold and beige, this one actually is. But it is so good as like a final step to cover up spots. I think it's because it's a foundation, but it's a powder. The coverage of it is amazing. If you really struggle to cover your spots up, this is an absolute game changer. It just like, they just disappear i swear to god like that's just made it that's just covered it so much better than what it looked like i think i honestly it's like magic i swear to god get yourself some of this stuff it will change your life i'm actually gonna use a mixture of bronzers today i'm gonna start with this is the vive um modern bronzer duo it's so good to get like those two shades in it and honestly they're such they're such great shades i'm gonna use the lighter one um, and I'm going to use this Makeup by Ariel Morphe powder brush. I like to focus this colour sort of on like the high point and like the apple of my cheek, I suppose. I actually find, it's so funny, I used to like feel like to, that to create that more contoured look, I had to really like put the, the bronzer like in my contour, like in my um, contour area, you know, like this bit below, but actually... I've really learned now after watching like numerous TikToks and YouTube videos that my cheekbone looks way more defined if I put the bronzer like on the upper point of my cheek. <sighs> I mean, I was doing it all wrong. I was doing it all wrong for so long. Um, I'm also just gonna put some, warm up my forehead and go get a little bit more of a definition up there. Also, I'm taking this all the way down my neck because I like to make sure, especially because I got my hair up, that I don't have any like, there's nothing worse than when it's like white back here. So if you ever have like a, do your hair in like a proper snatch bun, make sure that you do like all the way up like behind your ear and like down your neck because, oh, it pains me inside when I see that. I'd literally want to just go up and like blend it out for people when I see it, it's so bad. And then the other bronzer that I'm going to use is this one, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the rich amber one. It's got sort of like a bit more of a ready undertone. Kind of gives me like a blusher vibe as well as a, um a bronze which i quite like kind of doubles up as the both of them so as you can see i'm sort of putting this one a bit more like all over the cheek and then also up the side of my face i wouldn't recommend taking this one onto your forehead because as you can see it does give you like a blusher look like i always get really hot whenever i film makeup tutorials i don't know why you guys make me nervous um uh, right what should i do now Maybe I'll do some eyebrows. Let's do eyebrows. So I'm going to start by brushing through the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze with the little brush that comes with it. Oh, I don't even think it comes with it, but it's the um, Anastasia Brow Freeze brush because it's got like the flat applicator end on it. Um, and I'm going to do a bit more of a straight brow today rather than like a fluffy one. The only bit I'm going to brush upwards is this front section. So basically, I shave the tail ends off my eyebrows because my eyebrow naturally wants to go like down. And I hate that. I feel like it makes my face like go down. So I shave the tail, the tail ends off and then I make like I create my own like straight brow because it gives a bit more of a fox eye look, I think. So to fill out my brow, I'm going to start with the Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade three. And I'm just going to literally create like a tail like this it's funny when i started to shave the um tail ends of my eyebrows and did my brow like more of a straight brow like completely changed the shape of my face and it just looks i think so much better and then just to sort of darken it and just to soften the end off i'm going to use benefit foolproof brow powder this is in shade three as well i'm going to use the lighter shade that is in here but like you can get a natural or a natural finish to the tail with the end of this like pointed angle brush. This is a, um, what is this? This is an Inglot 31 T brush. So for liner, I'm gonna use, this is the Kai liner um, from Kylie Cosmetics. It is my favorite eyeliner. It's honestly so good. And what I like to do is just create like a really tiny wing 
at the corner of my eye. I'm not going to talk while I do this because it's just too hard. <laughs> this little like tiny little winged liner brush from Sigma. This is an E06 brush. I just like to before it's dried, just grab the end and elongate it out a little bit. So that's my favourite thing to do, is just literally do like a really tiny half, like not even a half wing, it's like a baby baby wing on the corner of my eyes. It makes such a difference and it's so easy to do, so if you can't really do winged liner, try this and it honestly like, it's just so easy and it looks great when you've got your lashes on because it just gives like a little bit of definition to the outer corner of your eye. So before I move on to lashes, I'm just going to do my really super quick eyeshadow, which is, I love this palette, this is the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, number two. Um, there's two colours in here that are perfect for like a really quick eyeshadow. This one is Toasty, which is the one I use in my crease. And then I also use Humble, but I'll show you how I use it in a second, which is the like white shade. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Toasty on a big fluffy brush. This is the Makeup by Ariel one. It doesn't have a name, but it's just like a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to focus it into my crease. I start in the corner and then I kind of take it up towards like my eyebrow and like down the side of my nose. It's just kind of... Basically, instead of going for like an eyeshadow look, I almost use it as like more of a contour. And then I take it, kind of just follow my brow bone really. It's a little like soft wing. So like nothing too crazy as you can see. So for lashes today, because obviously it's a brunch of the day, it's nothing too crazy. I don't want to go for like a big full lash. So I'm just going to use, these are the um, Isla Light and Wispy number 8 lashes. And they're great because they're sort of almost like pre-cut to just be a corner lash, which is my favorite sort of lash. So I'm just gonna put these ones on. So my lashes are on, I'm just gonna go back in with that Sigma palette. I'm gonna go into that humble shade, which is that like light white color. And then I'm just gonna put it literally kind of into the corner of my eye. This is also great actually, to just put on your brow bone. A matte highlighter if you don't wanna go in with like a shiny highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this powder now, but instead of like sweeping it away, I'm gonna sort of like press it in I feel like when you take the powder off it's like you can kind of see it all come together if you look crazy while the powder's on <laughs> once the powder's off what I do like to do is just grab my brush which has got a bit of blush on I don't like to put any extra on just sort of go a little bit over my nose as to like kind of where it was baking I think it sort of joins everything together quite nicely so it doesn't all look too like separate chunks of things my Becca Cosmetics which has definitely seen better days look at this she's stressful oh my god um and i'm just gonna put a little bit of highlighter actually no that's not the brush i want to use where's the brush that's not it i'm just gonna apply a little bit to the center of my nose which is definitely my favorite place to put highlighter i absolutely love putting it there a bit there and on the end of my nose as well i don't know if i want to do cheek highlight today though i'm sure i might just stick with like my kind of center of my face just above my eyebrow I like there, just to lighten up my face, make my skin look like it's nice and dewy. Um, and then I'm going to set my face today with the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because we need this to last. So lipstick today I've got on, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Hazelnut and also their um, lipstick in Tease, which is a really nice sort of nude, kind of like a pinky nude combo. Um, and it's this lipstick's quite nourishing. It's not too drying, so I'm hoping I won't get any crusty lips through the day because that's also not a vibe. Okay, so I've just put this top on, which I'm going to wear today. How amazing is the colour of this? It's from Skims. Um, it's their Fits Everybody Body Suit. I will do an outfit before I leave, but um, I think colour. I think it's part of their Valentine's collection. So because um, I'm going to do a slick bun, I thought it'd be sensible to put it on first. So I'm just going to section forward the front bit of my hair. That I'm gonna want to keep out. I mean, I have potentially slightly underestimated just how long I had to get ready, or overestimated even. I don't know which one round. Um, so now I'm in a rush, but that's fine. So sectioned off, kind of like a triangle section of my hair there. So basically, when Chris Appleton was doing my hair, to get it like super, super, <laughs> to get it like super slick, he literally just covered all the hair in hairspray and they would like brush it up into the bun. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm using, this is the Tresemme Extra Hold Spray. I mean, he literally did it to the point where it was like wet with hairspray, but it, I mean, it definitely worked and it keeps it in place, especially like these back bits, which I think, when you're doing a slick bun, they're quite hard to like keep up. Then also this kind of brush is 
love how clean that is. This kind of brush is definitely what you need to do this. Do not try and do it with like a wide toothbrush. Going by what Chris said to me, you need to follow the line of your cheekbone to get like the perfect snatch. You really need one of those sort of like bungee cord hair ties to do this to keep it nice and tight, but I don't have one. Plus they scare me because they're sort of extra bad for hair breakage, which I don't need right now. And then this next section, what I'm gonna do is just cover it in hairspray. Again. And then I'm gonna kind of leave two of my like fringy bits out because they're going to create a little bit more of the middle parting but I'm going to get this bit and then brush it backwards so I basically tie this up into like its own little separate separate pony it is wild how doing this in these two separate sections just makes all all the difference with this bun I swear okay give that another little Ray. This is what we've got currently, just like nice slick, 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 slick. And then these two bits, because they're shorter, I mean if you've got long bits at the front here, you can probably do this and then add them to the pony, but because mine are short, I just brush them, ooh, I just brush them into like a middle parting direction, just sort of like in a, a little sweepy motion. I just want like a really, really diddy middle parting, which is exactly what I've got, which is great. I mean, I feel like I've had a facelift, so I must be doing something right here. It's like that right there, it's like now it's down the bottom and I don't want that. Maybe I need to twist it the other way. <laughs> Honestly, I'm definitely no, no hair professional, should we say. We're getting it into a position here. Okay, let's tie a band around it, I must say. Chris definitely did not use a band. He was much more professional and he used like clips and things, but I feel like my skills are just not, not there. Some of the little sections with some pins. Literally, I'm just spraying those bits with this hairspray and it makes them like really hard and then they just kind of stay in that like Bella Hadid kind of sticky thing. Oh yeah, oh she's snatched. Oh, I'm pretty busy. Honestly, I feel like all of those little tricks that I learnt when I was with Chris have just made such a difference because I can just do such a better bun than I could do ever before. I'll stand up and show you by the light so you can see it properly. Okay, I'm gonna stop putting hairspray on now. So, I'm done. I'm ready. You're not coming with me. <laughs> I mean, you've walked in it, so... <laughs> you definitely don't need to be in it. Right. But you can be in it if you want to. I'm just good to see you gonna guys. show my makeup in the daylight. Have a good day out. Yeah, you're gonna go watch the rugby, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going, I'm going out with the boys. You're going with the boys. I'm going with the girls. Cute. That is cute. Um, this is what my makeup looks like in the daylight. I'm very happy with it. Um, it looks like a good soft glam, not too heavy, not too, you know, and my snatch, I can't. I'm really happy with the bun. I'm hoping you guys will agree that I've absolutely nailed that. Um, yeah, get yourself some hairspray and do it in two sections and you'll just absolutely nail it. So um, I'll just talk through my outfit because I'm actually like a little bit in love with this Skims pink thing. As I said, I've got this Skims Fits Everybody bodysuit on, which is um, the short sleeve and it's amazing. I'm wearing it in a size small and it's so like sucks you in. You don't actually need to wear a bra underneath either because it's double lined. Then I've got the matching cycling shorts on, which are so cute. They're not double lined, but I kind of like that you can see um, the like, kind of bodysuit, it's quite cute. So that's like, I've turned it into like a little bit of a unitard sort of look. The blazer, of course, is the SLA Kendall blazer. This is in the size large, it's like super, super oversized, because this is quite summery underneath, but I thought, put a big blazer over the top, it's fine. And then these boots, which I love, these are actually from Zara. I like that they're a little bit higher, they come up like halfway up the calf, and they're super comfortable, so great boots for a day drinking when you don't know how long you're gonna be out. Um, so yeah, so that's it guys. That's a little get ready with me. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, found it useful kind of seeing all my favorite products. I've literally taken you all the way through skin, makeup, hair, outfit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you want me to film more of these because I definitely can do. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.